Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Max Turner, Lauren Bolton's closest friend, was eager to find out who the baby's father was after she gave birth to a son lately on Coronation Street. Didas. Lisa Swain thought Nathan Curtis was the father of Lauren's child since Lauren had previously told the detective that he was the one responsible for the incident that caused her to vanish. Viewers will understand, nevertheless, that Joel Deering, a solicitor, was actually the one who groomed Lauren and is the biological father of her child. Joel has gone to great lengths to conceal his involvement, even giving Lauren medication that causes early labor. Thankfully, baby Frankie made it through the early delivery and is receiving medical attention in the hospital right now. In an attempt to get Lauren out of the hospital for a few hours, Max persuaded her to have lunch with him in tonight's episode. Lauren reluctantly consented, but she was startled when Joel and Dee Dee Bailey showed up at the bistro as well. When Max questioned Lauren over their dinner whether Nathan was Frankie's father, Lauren unexpectedly revealed that he wasn't. She insisted that the real father was some randomer who wouldn't give a damn, but she withheld the whole truth. Max didn't press the issue, but Joel overheard them talking and subsequently visited Lauren in the hospital, inquiring as to what they had been talking about. Lauren gave a detailed explanation, emphasizing that he wasn't the only person who could lie. Will Lauren ever tell the truth, or will she just keep Joel's secret forever? Rick Sandra Poroniku, a Coronation Street performer, has disclosed if her character Alina Pop harbors love feelings for Tyrone Dobbs, her former partner. Next week, Alina returns to Weatherfield, which is guaranteed to cause Tyrone and his wife is some more disruption in their lives. This learned earlier this week that Alina will probably be called as a witness in a court case involving a human trafficking gang in the near future. The following week, Fizz runs into Alina in the Freshco parking lot, confirming that she has returned to take part in the trial. Rixandra gave the following explanation regarding Alina's return to Weatherfield. Alina is back in Weatherfield because she is a witness in a trial against traffickers. She believes she ought to stay away from Fizz and Tyrone. If she had chosen to avoid seeing Fizz, she would have done so at all costs. She just wants to get away from it as quickly as possible when it happens. Tyrone was a significant figure in her life at one point, so it makes sense that she would be interested to see him and talk to him again. However, I believe she would not have returned if it weren't for the legal case. When asked if Alina still had feelings for Tyrone, Ruxandra said, I think she still has feelings for him but different types of feelings because she saw herself building a life with him and because they went through a lot of trauma, which bonded them together. I believe that she will always value him, albeit on a different level. Time heals, therefore there is no denying that Almena has changed. That's going to be my last statement. You learn from your experiences and time heals, which helps you develop personally. Next week's spoilers indicate that Tyrone's mother, Cassie Plummer, intervenes, pretending to be a cab driver in order to force Alina to return to the cobblestones against her will. Watchers will have to wait and witness Tyrone's reaction when he sees his ex for the first time since 2021 back in the city. Rixandra said, Time went by so quickly as we talked about how it felt to be back. I have made an effort to continue working as an actress because I enjoy it. I'm happy that it took place. I've performed in theater before, including my difficult but wonderful stage debut in London. To keep things going, I've worked on a few television shows and a feature film. However, I've also been attempting to schedule family time Time passes by so rapidly that I need to make time for my family, who are back in Romania, and spend some quality time with them. I was thrilled to receive a call asking me to return to Coronation Street, since working with the cast and crew has always been a pleasure. I had a great time returning, 
and everyone was really hospitable. There might be a surprise romance developing in Coronation Street between Dee Dee Bailey and a neighbor. Since making her debut in 2022, Chanique Sterling Brown's portrayal of Dee Dee has gained a lot of admirers. She is still unaware, though, that her fan K. Joel Deering, played by Callum Lil, lives a covered existence. Joel was first presented as a kind man, but more recently, he has revealed his darker side. It was discovered that he was responsible for Lauren Bolton's Kate Fitton disappearance. After providing for Lauren financially, he enticed her into a sexual connection that abandoned her after a heated argument in which Lauren invoked the name Dee Dee. But after being away for a few months, Lauren reappeared in Weatherfield and told Joel that she was pregnant. Since then, Joel has made an effort to keep her quiet by promising to pay for her move to Ireland in order to start over and by giving her a place to stay at his former apartment. According to the Express, Joel gave Lauren medications to induce early labor, which resulted in the birth of their son last week, a startling turn of events. Fortunately, Lauren and the infant survived, but Dee Dee still doesn't know the real Joel. She has been able to pick up on his disoriented behavior in recent episodes. After rumors of a delicious storyline involving Dee Dee Bailey surfaced following Adam Barlow's Sam Robertson, Return to Waiterfield, Corey fans went into a frenzy. One excited spectator spluttered on a Facebook fan page for Corey. Adam is back. Nice. Hopefully he has a compelling plot. As fans began to anticipate some sultry action between Dee Dee and the Waiterfield regular, the buzz really got going. Adam will end up with Dee Dee, chimed in a fan. Following this was another. Brilliant. Him and DT had a bit of a flirt, if I remember rightly, so he'll be there for her when she finds out about Joel. With one post asking, what if they had an affair? Soap opera viewers are playing with the notion of an extramarital affair. Joel would lose it. Another person who agreed with this plot point said, I could see this happening. With the comment, I don't think she would ever do that, but I wouldn't care. Please just leave him. A fan completely rejected the idea of an affair. After providing for Lauren financially, he enticed her into a sexual connection then abandoned her after a heated argument in which Lauren invoked the name Dee Dee. After being away for a few months, Lauren reappeared in Weatherfield and told Joel that she was pregnant. Since then, Joel has made an effort to keep her quiet by promising to pay for her move to Ireland in order to start over and by giving her a place to stay at his former apartment, according to the Express. Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.